Hello, this is Jam Master Daniel 96 and today I'm going to be reviewing the second book in the Fate of the Jedi series, Omen, by Christy Golden, and this was Christy Golden's debut for writing for Star Wars, and definitely, I mean, pretty much the only, this is, this series is probably the only series she written in the original EU, she was supposed to come out with an original, with a a trilogy called Sword of the Jedi, but that got cancelled due to Disney and Lucasfilm's reboot announcement in April 2014. And then she wrote two books for the new canon, which is, you know, Dark Disciple, a cancelled Clone Wars arc, which was an adaptation of that, and then she wrote Battlefront 2 Inferno Squad, and here's our debut for Star Wars, and let's get on with the review, and the characters are Luke Skywalker, Ben Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia, Organa, Leia Organa, yeah, Leia Organa Solo, Alana Solo, then, then you have the first appearance of Vistara Kai, and really the solos aren't really featured that much in the book. I'd say they're not the main focus. I would say the big main focuses are Luke and Ben Skywalker and Vistara Kai, but you don't, like, in the book, um, Ben and Vistara haven't met yet, which I know, like, Vistara later on becomes a love interest for Ben, but this isn't that far yet. They haven't met yet, and Definitely, Vistara's ship is called the Omen, which is the title of the book. And then you have, you know, all these kind of flashback kind of things with Vistara and stuff. And then then it goes to present day with her on a where the ship crashes on a planet. And then pretty much you have more of the present day with, with Luke and Ben on the Jade Shadow because you know they're in. What happened with the first book, where Luke was sent into exile, and then his son Ben accompany, accompanies him, and then you have stuff with Han and with the Solo, with, with Han, Leia, Alana, and Jaina. So you have that bit, and they're, you know, more on the sidelines, kind of like they're more like the side stories in the, like, more on the side story of the book, and then you have the main bits with. Luke Skywalker and Ben Skywalker, and then you have the bits with Vistara Kai, which those are the main meat of the book, and I would say this book was about a, probably I think this is the shortest book in the series, and also, you get stuff like even the force power with the force projection, it's called a doppelganger, and that's what the force projection is called, what was called in The Last Jedi, and definitely, I mean, for the movies, it's new, because it, you know, for its first appearance in that movie, but here is, you know, definitely the force projection power was done in this book, and... So for those newcomers, this is where one of it was pretty much even done before The Last Jedi was ever made, and here you go, that's where, give you a good hint, where the force projection power came, and also, I mean, I would say it was, a, I did enjoy the book and stuff. And I did like the dynamic with Luke Skywalker and his son Ben, and I also did like the bit where Luke, you know, talks to Ben about, you know, his training with Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back, and then he tells Ben about, you know, where, you know, in Empire where Luke asks Yoda is the dark side stronger and stuff, which I thought was a cool callback, and... Also, I mean, there's a bit where Ben, you know, is where he senses something that that rampages in him, and then he tries to pick up his lightsaber, and then 
he chooses not to, and then Luke is proud because as a, a Jedi uses the Force for knowledge and protection, never attack, which you know is what Yoda told him in The Empire Strikes Back, so Luke is passing on what he learned to his son, which I thought was pretty cool, and definitely as I did, I enjoyed the first book as well, Outcast, and then this one was a good read as well, and can't wait to read more of this series, and that's all I gotta say, don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to the channel, comment what you thought of the book down below, and I'll see you next time, bye.